So today I've got a really special video for you guys where we're going to be looking at a software that I've recently found and when I first saw it I didn't think much of it but then I saw what kind of things it could do and really my mind was blown. I have never seen anything like it and make sure you watch on because they currently have a limited time special offer so make sure you stick around for that. But if you haven't been here before my name is Rory and I run this channel called Mr Rosa and can I just ask you guys to hit that like and subscribe button as it would be greatly greatly appreciated. Now the software we're going to be looking at today is called Book Bolt. Now some of you guys may have heard of it before but I just want to get straight to it and tell you what offer they have. Now if you click the top link in the description below and use the discount code Mr. Rosa at checkout, I'll pop it up now, then you get 20% off your purchase. Now that means you get 20% off the $9.99 monthly plan or 20% off the $89.99 yearly plan. Now yeah, like I said, this software is really amazing. I haven't seen any software that can do things like this can. It has great things for searching keywords and getting better insights into different books on Amazon. And it also has its own designer where you can design front covers and it also has some Google Chrome add-ons so when you go into Amazon it can give you some extra details and really this thing is amazing. I mean, I think I pay about, I think it's near to $100 a year for Adobe Illustrator, whereas this software you can pay only $89 a year. And you get extra things such as you get your own designer, you get your own keyword finder. It's really amazing, but I don't want to waste any more time and let's just jump straight to the computer and have a look at it. Okay, so when you first log in, this is what comes up. So it is bookbolt.io and yeah, this is what comes up. Now it does also have free resources and if you go down here, you can have a look at them. So you've got KDP category finder where you can obviously look at categories and the best categories for your books. Then you've got interior wizard, which I don't really know a huge amount and interior PDF combiner pro. So yeah, I think that's a bit of a converter to PDF. But anyway, let's just log in. I'm just going to log in quickly and we can have a look at what they really have within the paid version. And this is where the magic really happens. So when you first log in, it gives you 12 different tutorials on how to use this software. So that's really good. I had to watch them at first because I didn't really understand anything. But after I watched these, I got a great understanding of what was going on. They give you great insights and all different sorts of tricks you can do with this software to help give you better insights and help your books on Amazon. So the first thing we have on the left is products. Now this is not only for books, this is for Amazon in general and you can search up all different keywords related to a product. So if we search up colouring for example, now if we change the category so we can change it from general to planner to calendar to music sheets to journal to notebook and if we just change it to notebook, click on search, give it a few seconds and I'll show you what happens. Okay so after we've done that, this is really the amazing thing. I've never seen any software that has been able to do this. And when you search up colouring, the keyword colouring, under the category book, it will give you the average BSR of all the books that come under the keywords colouring and the category notebook. And they have an average BSR of 54,182. So that means under the keywords colouring and the category notebook, the average BSR for all books under that keywords, the average BSR for them is 54,182. It will also show you the lowest price that is listed under that category and keyword. It will also show you the highest price and an average price. So that will then give you an idea of how much you should be selling your book for. So what I would do if it was the average price of $8.38, I'd put it slightly below because then that means people will be buying your book over others because it is cheaper than the others. Now, if we have a look here, this is what comes up for the first one. So it's adult coloring book, gives you all the keywords in the title and subtitle. And you can have a look at its BSR and it gives you how many sales it is getting per month. So this one at a BSR of 246 is getting 732 sales. Now, all Google plugins that I've had, they haven't been able to show this much information. It shows you the price, it shows you the reviews when it was published, so that's important, so you can get an idea of how long it's been on the market. And then we can have a look at the description here and all sorts of stuff like that. 
Now I, there is going to be more insights, just keep watching the video and it will show you even more insights to that and it will also give you the keyword count. Now this is important because it gives you all the keywords that are associated with that category of the keyword colouring. So these are all the keywords that are being used, colouring, book, kids, fun, those are all the keywords that be putting into the seven keyword boxes or into the title and the subtitle. So yeah, that's very, very important. And then if we scroll down on the right here as well, it will also show you the related keywords to that keyword colouring. So coloured pencils for adult colouring book with sharpener. These are all ones, maybe not that one, but these are all phrases that you could be using in your title and subtitle to get more sales. Now let's move on to the really, really powerful software that I've never seen in any software. And that is this one, Cloud. So if we click on that, the first option here is search by bestsellers. So I'm going to leave that at top 100 books and then the category notebook and then the BSR range. So let's go from one to 500,000. So all books that were within that range, it will list for me. And then the price range, which I'm going to leave from $0 to $100 to get an even better range. And we're just going to leave the keywords optional thing blank. And then all you've got to do is click search and it will list all the books that are within that top 100 category notebook and within that BSR range and price range. Okay, so here is the number one book within that range. And that is a sketchbook. So what you'll give here is the title, subtitle, its author, the publisher, the reviews, the ASIN, the publication date, the price, BSR, monthly sales, average BSR for past 30 days. So that can give you a better idea of what its BSR is changing because a lot of books, they can go into like top 20,000, but then over the next month, they could move into the 500,000. So yeah, that's good. And then we can also look at this if we click this thing here. It'll give you how they have changed the price and how that has changed the sales rank. So you can see here, at one point, they changed the price to $45. And look, it's still got a BSR. What does it say here? It's BSR, was it 638 still? I mean, that's crazy. And that can give you some interesting facts and in how its BSR has changed according to its price over the months. And yeah, so at the beginning of the year, its sales rank was 1,496 and its price was $4.59. And then we can go down to May the 29th when its price was $1 and then its BSR was 683. So that did change the BSR of it. And yeah, really it just gives some interesting insights into these books. And, and if we click this drop down here where it says results data, it will give you the sales rank, all that kind of stuff. And then it will show you the highest price within that sales rank. So the top 100 and between that BSR range, its highest price book was $25.95. The average price was $6.86. And the average BSR was 44,469. So again, that average price is important because then you can put your book below that amount. So then you will get sales because people will be looking at it and thinking it is cheaper. It also give all the keywords associated with these top 100 best selling books. And yeah, really, I've never seen a software that's been able to do it with this much detail. I mean, it really is quite interesting just going through all these books, looking at the charts and how the price has changed and how that has affected the BSR and all sorts of different stuff like that. And then what you can do with this data, if you want to save anything to keep anything as a note, you can click this heart here and it will just save to your favorites. So if I just click submit there, oh uh, yeah, favorites. Then if I can go into favorites now, it will show you the books. So yeah, there is the sketchbook that I just saved. Okay, so the other great thing about this software is this option here, which is keywords. And then if we go keywords and then search. Now I have seen a similar thing like this before, a similar software like this. And that was within a software called Helium 10. Now I have talked about it in a previous video. Now that was a lot more expensive than this book bowl is. But with book bowl, you also get everything else which is included. So that Helium 10, it only had this keywords software, which you could download. But yeah, 
with everything else. Actually, I think it was Helium 10 and then Cerebro within it, which could do this keyword thing, you which you had to pay for. But yeah, with BookBolt, you get everything else which is included as well. Now, what you want to do is search for some keywords. Now, I have already done some playing around with it before, and I found that coloring book, you didn't get that good results. The competition was very, very high. So we're gonna be looking for something else. Now, if we search up something different like tractor coloring book, click search, wait a few seconds. And yeah, again, we can still see the competition is quite high, but I'll just show you some cool things about it. So chicken tractor book has an Amazon search volume of 185, a Google search volume of 20, a CPC of $0.00, three cents and then a competition high. Okay, so we'd want to avoid that because we've had a scroll down and they are all high competition. So we got to think of some other keywords. Now let's think of other color orientated things. So color by number notebook. Let's have a look what comes up with keywords associated to that. So, okay, here's a good one here. Amazon search volume of 561, Google search volume of 10, competition low. 3D color by number three, okay. So it's not associated with my notebooks, so you just skip that and move on to the next one. Now you can see the competition with adult color by number. The competition with those keywords is very high. The Amazon search volume of 82,127. But yeah, we can keep scrolling down. Anime color by number, oh my gosh. 468 Amazon search volume, that's good. 468 searches a month competition low, that's a keyword, that's a keyword, and then you can create a notebook based on anime characters. All I've got to do is save that, and then it will save to my favorites list, and it will be there. And we can keep scrolling down again, Christmas color by number. Well, Christmas is still a few months away, but you can imagine if you got in now, got to the top selling for it now, you can imagine by Christmas, your book's gonna be a top seller, you're gonna be making thousands a month, so again, Christmas color by number, you save that, save it to your favorites. And we can keep scrolling down, color by number kids, 477 Amazon search volume, but a Google search volume of 12,100, so that's interesting. It's getting more searches on Google, but the competition is still only medium. Color by number for kids, 11,057, but the competition is only medium. So I'd be going through these and saving every single one of them. Color by number, color by number. And let's scroll if we've got any more low. Pixel art, color by number. Pixel art, that's still very popular. 513 search volume a month. Save it, it's got low competition. You just keep doing that and it's got pages of this stuff. You can scroll through, so we're trying to avoid all the high ones. Medium ones are still good. Color by number again. Only medium search volume. Uh, medium competition, sorry. Sandbox color by number, tap color, color by numbers. I mean, you get the idea. This is really, really powerful if you can use it right. And yeah, you've also got this thing here called Book Scout. Now I'm gonna show you an example. So if I go into Amazon, search a color by number book, and let's look for the first one. So let's go this Sea Life color by number. Scroll down and look for the ASIN number, which should be here somewhere. Yep, there it is. Copy that paste it, wait for it to collect the data. And yeah, here it is. Sea Life Color by Number Coloring Book for Kids ages four to eight. Give you the description, wait for it to load. It will give you the rank for every single keyword that is associated with this book. So activity books for kids ages four to eight, search volume of 330,221. And it gives you every single keyword that has been used with this book. I mean, that's amazing. I've never seen a software that's been able to do this. So yeah, you can almost get a cheat and insight into what they're doing to get a best sellers rank like it has. I think, let's have a look, what's its best sellers rank at? A best sellers rank of 6,253. But yeah, I mean, I was amazed when I found out about all this stuff. And obviously we've got all this stuff here. On the right hand side, we've got the Book Bolt Designer, which is its designer software. But I don't think I'm gonna go through this because I can literally be here all day. I mean, you need to have a look at this yourself, really, to get a better idea of what you can do. But yeah, BookBolt Designer, BookBolt Lister, which is very powerful because if you know anything about listing books, which I'm sure all you guys have, 
then you'll know that it's an absolute pain going through every single like title, subtitle, description, just having to rewrite everything. It can take a long, long time, but with BookBolt, it automatically does it. It can be almost like a widget in the top corner. You click it and it will do everything automatically for you. So that again is saving a lot of time, meaning you can punch out loads and loads of books. And then KDP Categories Finder, Bolt Mask Cover Converter, which is also great if you're into that merch by Amazon scene, because what this software can do is convert all your t-shirts with the designs on them and convert them into notebooks. So again, what you can do, all your designs from t-shirts, put it onto notebooks, and again, multiple streams of income like I talked about in my other video, I think it was a couple videos back. But yeah, this is really, really powerful. So I'm gonna stop it there, and I'm gonna be moving back over to film the outro. So yeah, I hope you guys were impressed as I was when I found out about this software, and make sure if you're interested, click the top link in the description below and use the discount code Mr. Rosa to get 20% off your purchase. And this is a limited time offer, so make sure you get in there quick as this is really great. I hope you guys understand how powerful this really, really is. I mean, you don't need to be spending extra money on all sorts of different softwares such as Adobe Illustrator, Helium 10, Keywords Everywhere, all sorts of things like that because this software has everything in it that you would need. And let me know down in the comments below if you have purchased this or you have any questions because I love reading every single one of your comments. And yeah, I really hope I helped you guys with something and showed you guys something today. Once again, if you enjoyed, remember to hit that like and subscribe button as it is greatly appreciated. Really motivates me to find these softwares to help you guys out and make these sorts of videos. Make sure you also go and follow my Instagram at Rory Miles. I'll have a link in the description below as well because soon I'll be posting some exclusive content on there that you won't be seeing on this YouTube channel. And yeah, I've got nothing else to say. Until next time, goodbye.